Hello YouTube, this is Mark, aka Christ169, coming to you remote in my living room. Probably if don't want I'm gonna upload videos time where I'm not do live right now. I'm feeling kind of lazy, so I'm gonna do a you know I'm doing an upload. You know, not do a live one right now. Do upload. I'm coming live right now, but you know later on to come upload it. So the topic of this story is the scalpers are done with. I don't care. Okay, the topic of the story is Call of Duty. Black Ops Cold War crashes some Xboxes. Mine has the issue with it. Okay. I had my Xbox on all night. A couple times. No problems. I put in, I turn on Call of Duty Cold War. Black Ops Cold War. It turns off. It literally, sh it literally shuts down the system. If I leave it unattended for a while. Um, Dan the Iverson says overheating, but the ports are clear. I think the game has an issue. Okay? I think it does have an issue. And that's the issue we need to look at, too. Sorry, I'm a little weird up there. But, uh, yeah, we need to look at the issue, though. I think the issue could be an update resolve, probably, from, from Activision. Uh, the game is great, though. It is fun. It, it is... My Call of Duty review is good. Multiplayer is fine. But you have a lot of campers there, man. A lot of campers and snipers. People think they're playing Halo trying to spin scope and steroids. I shoot them with my light machine gun and they fall down. Then I get blown up by, you know, by an RC. It's kind of funny, though. Fun game, though, but, you know, after a while you get tired of the campers and snipers. You get tired of them just hiding. Like, what do you, you call this game? Hide a duty or camp a duty. That's all it is, really. You see, I, I miss the old Call of Duty. Well, Call of Duty 4. Well, they may be ran around for running around killing people. It's like people get little campsites and they hide there, so they know they can they get tenth prestige, you know, prestige junkies. They have tenth prestige. I got I got tenth prestige. If I don't do it, I'm gonna have to, ah, uh, you know, like, like they don't have a life outside the walls of their house. That's pretty sad for them though. <clears throat> but no, I play that. I also play, you know, I have. Uh, Stuff like that, you know, and I really don't understand it much about the. I pressed each one time in Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty, Vermont, Call of Duty 4. I think it was Black Ops World War 2. Black Ops, I mean, Call of Duty, a, a, a World at War. Not Black Ops World at War, but man, Call of Duty, a World at War. Great game, too, by the way, though. But, you know, it, it, you know, it does have basic problems. Call of Duty, you know, is a game that's based upon spin twirling, no scoping, Mountain Dew drinking kids. It's not really known for what it was before. You know, it's the game is arc. You know, it's arcadey. Yes, it is. It, it, it's arcadey. It's going back to the roots of what Call of Duty made Call of Duty good back in the day, where it was simple. To get into yes, you know, and your score streaks don't reset upon death, and I love that because. If you're not going to camp in a corner and camp and hide, then your score streak can reset, and that sucks. She should not, now, granted, she should be allowed to turn that off if you want to. When you call a duty amp drinker camping in a corner, you know, uh, you ain't going to monitor you that much. But see, I can't hide that. I can't hide like that. I, I did a couple times when, when I was reloading my, you know, my light machine gun or my MP5 or whatever, and, and, and that's fine. You reload. If you're sitting in the whole game to just so you can get killed three to tenth per thing, then you truly are a loser. And it's very sad because you're running for everybody else because you want to have your own selfish, your own selfishness instead of worrying about you know getting good. You want to hide in the corner, and to me that's wrong. To me, more wrong than anything else. And that's and that's what I think. Though. I think that that's something that. People have to understand, you know, that it's just, it's, basically Call of Duty is, used to be, you know, a, a team-based game, now it's a bunch of Rambos running around, going, running around, and then, Rambo, like Rambo in the movies, and it's fine, though, if you like playing that kind of stuff, but if you're like me who wants to play the game and have a good time, it's a good, it's a good escape from a lot of stuff going on. I bought it, you know, for, you know, for fifty nine dollars. I got the uh, crossover one where you can play it on the uh, X X series. 
course, I can't buy an X series. I wouldn't want out one out anyway because I can't fit it in my in my TV stand out here. It ain't gonna fit out here, uh, or, or or in my game room. So I'm kind of stuck right now without it, you know. So I have to sit there and deal with something else. Um, but yeah, guys, that's really my video. I think that it's understandable to have fear about, you know. But Call of Duty is a decent game. It is understandable. It's not really hard to understand to play. It's just understanding how to not rush around because the campers will kill you. You can get if you, if you know if you, if you know the camping spots are at, you're fine. I always say, you know, in my things, in my way of life, walk slowly. Walk softly and and and, and don't run around like a you know uh, like I mean like um, you're running and gunning, because there's always gonna be somebody there behind you, around you. It, it's always like it's like you get it's like you're getting just beaten up from all sides. And it's a good game though, by the way. So I don't consider it being a bad game at all. So I'll see. I haven't played campaign yet, but I will eventually play campaign. Right now, guys, this is my video. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.